Now that we have just sanded the inside of our handle smooth at the spindle sander, the next step for our end pieces is we're gonna remove the material from the top corners of our handles. So again, we've labeled these with X's just to remind us, and we're gonna be cutting on the side of the X's. This is just to remind us what the waste material is. So as a reminder, our cut line is the line that we've drawn across the board until we get to our first circle. Then we're gonna follow that circle. And then once we get to the second circle, we're gonna transfer to that one, cut along to the top of our handle. And then we're gonna continue that cut along the opposite circle, back down this curve and out the other line. You might find it useful to put a few relief cuts where the bends are, just so that as you cut, the material breaks away and it's easier to follow that line. And as always, we want to adjust the height of the guard so that it is, fit, it is sitting about one finger width above your piece. And this is just to prevent the bandsaw blade from wandering as we cut. It's to make it as secure as possible. Now that the material is roughly cut away, we're gonna sand to the line on the edge sander. And now we're just gonna sand to the line using the edge sander. Now that we have drilled our two holes, cut away the inside, sanded that smooth on the spindle sander, cut the line to reveal our handle, and then sand to that line on the, spin or on the edge sander, you're now ready to pull your two end pieces apart and move on to the next step.